Hey everybody, it's me, Jason Garris. Tonight I'm Brewing Solutions with the Car Guy Coffee Podcast. Let's, Let's brew! brew! Car guys and car guys. That's right. Welcome back. This is Lou Ramirez, the car guy. This is Fred and Arthur, subprime hero. And we are actually not brewing fresh news. Fresh news was on the oh, last episode, was. but we have the originator, the creator, the maker of the next cell app that is with us. And man, we are making some really great new connections inside of this series. But one thing that I always love, Fred, it's always hearing about the blunders. The funny blunders, because I am, man, I am, I have had my share. Man, I've had a <laughs> He's bunch. Had, he has more confessions than, than he can give up right now. Yeah, he, we, now we can have a, a whole series on confession <laughs> sessions of Lou, the car guy. But with that, though, I've learned a lot. And I'm sure that, man, Jason, I'm sure that you've had some, some funny ones. You keep me funny just having a non-blunder conversation. I want to hear something that maybe happened inside of this episode of Car, car Guy Confession Sessions. sessions. Take it you away. Know you know what I love? I actually love that when we used to the confession because I got so many confessions. <laughs> I, like, I mean, if you're in the car business, right? Okay. Like the skip steps and the things that we do uh, are, are, are like hidden, like, you know, but yeah. and, and it don't usually come out, right? But that's how we actually learn with these skip steps. But I can tell you one of my best stories, and actually I'll tell you two confessions because I'll make them quick. Bring them, uh, do it. So the, the first one was a lady, you know, that learned, uh, by the way, these confessions are, are, are lessons that I learned. So the, I learned one, the step of lying, and I want to tell you the, the best that, the, so a lady comes in and um, she was an older lady, right? Again. You know, I was new. I, you know, I just started. You know, I was only in there for like two weeks. That I just started, and um, but uh, I, I was on the floor and uh, I was selling a lot of cars. Believe it or not, because uh, they were making me go out and they were pushing me to, you know, um, go on these demo drives and do all these good things. And and, and my and my manager was making me, you know, follow the process that he had, and he was a great manager. But that said, there was a lady that came in and she was on the lot, and I went outside. There was an old PT Cruiser. And uh, the PT Cruiser was, was parked outside, and um, and I brought her outside, and 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 she she loved the looks of it. And I said, I said, ma'am, I said, you're gonna love this car, right? And so I pop her, I get her in the car, she loves it. She's sitting there, and I told, I showed her the head, the room that the PT Cruiser had because it had a lot of room in the inside. That's one thing about it. But she goes to start it, and there's nothing, and so. I'm like sitting there and I'm like feeling stupid because I'm like, this car, now again, this is what I just started. The car's not starting, right? Right. So again, if you have been in it for years, a lot of cars don't start. Now you just go get the jumper gate, the jumper box, and that's it. But I didn't know what to do. I just started. So I'm like, did you try it? And she's like, she turned it and she's an old lady and, and, and I felt stupid, you know, but I couldn't tell a confession. No, that's what it's all about. So she still she goes to start it. And I said to her, Yes, yes. And she goes, What? I go, it worked. And she goes, What worked? And I said, it the, there's a safety feature in it. it. Let me let me show you. And I said, so I run back in and I said, this car's not starting. And she's like, the guy's like, what what I go, what do you want me to do? He's like, just clear, take this jumper box, go outside, put the cables on it, and jump it. Right? And I'm like, all right, so I go outside. I know the car business well. So I just go back out 
lady's in the car. I said, ma'am, I want to show you something. And she's like, what's that? I said, watch this. You see this right here? She's like, yep. She goes, what is it? I said, don't worry about what it is. I'm going to show you something. I put it on the case. I put it on. And I said, now, listen, do me a favor. Go ahead and start it. She turned the key. It starts right up. And she's like, oh, my God, it works. I said, yes. I told you, this is a safety feature. This car cannot be stolen. You see, ma'am, I said, this car isn't going anywhere. You know, these are one of the safety features that we have. And, and the lady's like, oh, my God, this is fabulous, right? Wow. So she's all excited about it. She's an older lady, and, and I thought I was taking advantage of it. And, and again, and, and it wasn't that I wanted to. I just did that out. Now, again, I get in. So we now we drive around. We drive, we drive around the car. I get back. Now I, I go in and sits down, and we're, we're getting ready to make a deal. And she says, I don't know if I'll be able to afford this or get it. I said, ma'am, you're going to do just fine. She goes, my credit's not, I don't know about my credit. My credit's not good. I'm like, I don't worry about your credit. You Listen, we can get you. It was a cheap car. They have CAC or whatever. They had some, or not back in those days. I don't know if they had CAC. They had, they had a buyer payer even at this dealership. They even had a, a, a department where for people that, if they had, uh, if they didn't have a you know good credit at all, you could actually put two thousand dollars down and rent the car for that. But but it was really interesting. So the car was cheap. So I said, ma'am, let me just pull your credit and we'll see what we can do. We got let's don't worry. And she, well, I'm afraid. No, don't don't don't. I don't know if I want to do it. I said, ma'am, let's just run the credit. She goes, okay, let's do it. So I, I give her the credit report. She fills it out. I go back up to my desk and I said, listen. The lady's afraid that we're not going to be able to do anything, right? She got over an 800 credit score. Of course. Right? So I go back to her. I said, ma'am, you're right. Credit's not good. But I <laughs> you done, right? She's like, matter of fact, I know we can get you done. And she's like, she's like, oh, really? Right? And I'm like, yes. Yeah. She's like, yeah. She's like, really? I'm like, yes, really. We're going to get you done. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And, and at this point now, I'm like, and I felt like a hero with my bullshit lie, you know? I'm like lying. I'm like, I'm like, ma'am. And and, and uh, she starts crying. Oh, my God. She's like, and she's like, oh, my God. And she's in the showroom. Now, my buddies are all looking at me like, what did you do to the lady? Like, oh, God. Oh, God. So the lady's like, I'm so excited. Oh, God, I'm so excited, right? So she gets up and she goes, oh, I'll be right back. So she starts walking out the dealership, right? And she goes over to the doors and she's like, I'm so excited, right? And she's freaking out. And she walks out to the car, right? And she will get in her car. <laughs> she will take off. Right? Oh. And she will take off. Right? And she never came back. Right? <laughs> oh. She never came back. So listen, I don't know why she didn't come back. Listen, <laughs> but I can tell you this: that if she had, she probably had more common sense than I had. She probably <laughs> didn't fall for that jumper cable box, right? No. She didn't fall for the credit. She didn't blame in any of it, and 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 it was way too quick. I was moving way too fast, and I wasn't honest, and I was very dishonest, and mm. and, and my dishonesty cost me. That sale. Come on. Say it. But then it. but then then I learned why I sold so many cars. And that's humor. Oh. See, come on. Oh, humor. I love it. And so this is my best story, confession ever. I had eaten Mexican food mm -mm. at a restaurant. And it was 12 o'clock. It was on my lunch break. And I came back and I had the stomach virus. <laughs> I had the stomach virus. Well, it was my very first day at the dealership. Oh, man. The reason I, the very first day at the dealership, it was day one. I'm sorry, day two. And there was an expedition and it was an Indian family that came in. 
Now, when an Indian family comes in, they bring the whole entire family with them. I mean, when I mean they bring the family, they bring their aunts, uncles, they bring everybody, everybody. home. Yes. Okay? And they were looking for an excursion or an expedition. They were looking for something big. They came out of a minivan and they jumped in. They wanted something big, an expedition, an excursion. So when they get into the vehicle, I greet the whole family nicely. I did a great job. I got them into the big vehicle they wanted, right? And I sat and I, I put them in the uh, driver's seat and I was on the passenger seat and I'm driving. Now in this, this there's the grandmother, the grandfather, the mother, the father, and, and two little children and this very, very old lady that I didn't know what she was. I didn't know whether she was the grandmother, grandfather, great grandmother, whatever, but she was in the way back. None of them spoke English. Mm. Only, uh, only the parents and the children. So, but I know I don't speak their language. But I know that I had the stomach virus, and I wind up, I wind up rubbing my stomach, right? And I'm not feeling good, and I had a fart. Okay, <laughs> so I farted. I farted. Okay, which was not a big deal. Well. When I farted, I also shit my pants. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay, hold on. We're gonna be on. Hold on one second. Hold on a second. <laughs> 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 you can't hear what happened. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. So, <laughs> so when I did, you can't, you can't hear you yet. When I did, <laughs> when I did, listen to me. Oh this is this is the reaction while we're on the road. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Now. I didn't have a lot. It was more of like a shot. It was uh, it was enough to get. It was enough. Listen to me. It was enough for the aroma to go. But let me explain what happened. So, I, let me. So I. I sit there, oh, I need a minute. Oh. What happened? As I'm sitting there in the passenger seat, I'm in the passenger seat, and I look over, and the guy, the the driver, the the, the father. Was going like this. He's going, right? I see him looking, but I'm looking straight forward. I'm not doing anything, right? I'm looking straight forward. <laughs> he looks back and says, Yeah, I got all right, but I'm talking another language. So I said, Right? So I, I could see another talking, right? If you could go, No, no, right? I, I see what's going on because I am deaf. I know what they're doing and I know what they're saying, but I know they're not saying. I know they're talking about this because the car is starting to stink. And it stinks really bad. The children <laughs> rolled up. The one girl, the children in the back, they rolled the windows down in the back, right? And the one kid in the back, the little child, the little boy, would make be an exaggeration, but I mean it was bad. But he was hanging his kid out. He was hanging his head out the window <laughs> and, was, and letting the air come in, and he was making a big scene. So he starts yelling, "What happened? What happened? What happened?" Right? And um, and he goes, who did it? Who did it? Right? He's trying to find out who did it. But he's not looking at me because I'm a salesman. I don't do that stuff. Right? <laughs> well, I go, I did. I did it. I shit my pants. Right? <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and they go, what? I go, um, I, don't, I don't feel good. You know? I, and they start cracking up laughing. Right? <laughs> they were laughing so hard. Oh. They were laughing. Oh. And when they were laughing, right? They all started laughing because they know that I messed up. They know that it's funny. I, I'm giggling about it. I, you know, I got poop in my pants. You know, but here's my point. Here's my point. Ready? So here, here's the best part. As they're laughing, as they're cracking up laughing at me, laughing at me and with me, because they were laughing with me too, because they felt sorry for me too. They knew I was sick. I didn't feel good. So I, I get out of the vehicle, right? And I'm laughing with them, right? Yeah, laughing, right? And they're all cracking up and they're getting out. And the, and the other sales people are looking at them and they're laughing heavily. And, and they're like, what's going on, right? But nobody knows what happened. Nobody can smell nothing. All, all that happens right now is I went right to the bathroom, cleaned myself up real quick, came right back out. And I said, I'm just grab. And I went and grabbed the paperwork. I grabbed the sole form, the paperwork. And what I did was I laid the paperwork down and I said, all set, you're all set. The, just just sign right here, and these are the numbers right here for the car. You're all done, guys. I'm going to get you into the finance office. They're waiting to see you right now. I skipped the whole transaction of talking. I never, ever negotiated that deal. 
All I did was throw the buyer's order down, and I and I just I skipped over it. Mm. There was no negotiating. I assumed it. Artists to negotiate with. They negotiate for a living. Oh yeah, mm. they're like fifty percent right off the rip. Mm. Twenty thousand, ten thousand. You're like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> the the hardest to negotiate because in the country where they come from, they negotiate for food, everything, everything. For this. We don't do that negotiating. Yet. But you know what? It was a quick, quick thing. So I found out that this, I go over to Spencer's, I buy a fart machine, right? <laughs> I bought the fart machine. You know the thing you fart? You mm. get the farts, right? And, and it goes 100, 100 feet away, you can hit it and it farts. Well, what I was doing was I was hiding them under the desk and I was doing that and having fun with people. I put it in the park machine. I put it in the vending machine. When people were standing there, I put it in, I started running around and having fun with it. But what I did with my customers was I put it in the center console and I sit in the back, right? And if it was a younger couple, I'd hit the button on it and I'd get them laughing, right? And the more they laugh, the more money I made. Ah, so true. The more they laugh, the more money I made. Yep, that's right. So I learned this in business. Don't lie to your customers. Take good care of them. Make them laugh. Yep. Have a good time. Yep. You only have one shot. This is it. And when you do it, you don't have to negotiate for too long. And the biggest problem with people is we're in a rush. And salespeople are in a rush to get to numbers and this and that, but they're not in a rush to win right here and make mm. them laugh and all those things that are important. Okay. And so uh, the two confessions right there, Man, that perfect. confession Great. right there, my uncle, uh, he's 80 years old. I, he tells that story. I, I don't even go to, we, we don't go to a restaurant with a business partner or a business. And they'll say, tell them that story, what you did when you first started uh, selling. <laughs> right? Oh, wait a minute. So, so again, I know we're on here. So, again, I know I showed this before. But, you know, again, I, you know, I look at this here. And if you look, right, push it down right here. And you can see I was selling them up every month. The awards are right here. And, and by the way, there's, there's hundreds and hundreds of plaques here, okay? There's, there's, look at them. They're stacked up. So you can't. And, and I, I got several suitcases. You can't look. And I put them away. But what I want to tell you guys is this. How do you get salesmen in a month? By being salesmen in a month. Not by lying. Not by lying. By just, by just having a good time. And just look it. And, and you can see that's how relationships are. Who wants to be in a bad relationship? Come on. Not me. That's right. No. So who who so so that's all what this is all about. Relationships. That's, awesome. that's uh that's that's some solid stuff. That's, right that, there. Those are two extremely oh, yeah. awesome. Get it? Number two person number two. Oh, <laughs> yeah. lies, lies and humor. That's, that's it, right. man. That's right. And I, and and I and that's those stories are great because they also prove a point. And they also those are nuggets for people to get and use in their life. Right. Laughter is one of my best things that I do with my customers. When I walk in, <clears throat> when anytime I walk in to bring a pencil, there's two things I do. One, I'm smiling huge and I'm coming in whether I'm doing a goofy dance, like act like I'm so excited to start getting them to feel comfortable. And then I always tell them, "Great news, folks." I don't care yep. how fucking high those numbers are. Yep. Great news, folks. We did it. We did it. We we got it done. Yes. It yep. Yes. And that, so humor goes so long. It goes. It goes not just in the car business. It goes with life. Friends. They want to. They like a funny friend. Everything. When you can make somebody, you can have a hater, and then you make them laugh. They like you just like that. Yep. That's right. Yep. It's instant. I can. I can hate somebody, and they make me laugh, and I'm like, you know what? I like you, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's yeah. And then, 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 what happens is, you know, when somebody does talk about that person, say that guy's a real jerk. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? You know what's the real story? Because everyone's got to listen. It in every relationship, there's always two sides to a story. Mm. And and if you listen to the people that constantly complain about people, right? Them constantly complaining about people. There must be another side to the story. Because they must be complaining about this. Because if they're complaining about me, you'll be the next one they complain about. Boom. Yeah. Right. Fact. That's right. Man. In fact, you know, they say the, the international language is love, but I also I believe that it's laughter. laughter. Because no matter where you're at, 
you know, you, you, you could talk to somebody who's an Indian family, a, like me, Korean culture around me a lot. I could talk to a Jap. It doesn't matter if you can make them laugh. It, they all understand what that is. And they feel comfortable when you, nope. it, that's, so. that's, you don't start, you don't, you don't even start negotiating without it. As a matter of fact, that's the rule that I got. You do not negotiate without laughing. If you can't make them laugh, do not negotiate. They're yeah. still, you're still not done. You will not, that's you right. will not. And, and if you get the manager's got to go out and make them laugh, somebody's got to go out and make them laugh because there's something going on where they're not laughing. If they're not laughing or smiling, then there's something going on. Man. There's no connection there. And that's there exactly isn't. what we're talking about right now. We're Making all about new connections. connections. Yeah. Making new connections. Man. And this is, this is again, a connection that we've made because we're always having fun. Jason, you don't want to hang out with us if we're not having a good time. That's not <laughs> you have way better things to do. I mean, with your night. from El Patron's own mouth, he says it was the most fun he's ever had on a podcast. Okay. Come on, so, oh, you know. I tell you this. I tell you this. Right now, it, 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 if I would have shit my pants, there probably would be no toilet paper. Okay, <laughs> like, there probably would have been no toilet paper. Okay, okay, it would have been a different story now. But yeah, no doubt. there was plenty of it. Oh, and uh, so I knew that I could clean up when I was that right. But uh, it wasn't as bad as it was. I, I didn't like, it wasn't a mess, but it was, it was bad enough. It, it was, was enough. enough. Definitely. It was definitely. Enough. definitely. You know what? Not... It was a good deal. And they were happy with it. And I you, you. Like, more money. And sometimes it's like, you know, you don't know what you're going to make until like the desk tells you what you make. Because the, the greatest desk managers are not going to tell you what you made until the end. That's right. They're gonna hold back on right. you. They don't want to. They know because they know. Because if you're a good car guy, if you're somebody who's smart, you're gonna negotiate down, and you're gonna know how much you can negotiate down. So they don't want you to know that. They want to make you think that every penny is worth every freaking penny. That's they the they love it. I used to work the desk. Oh, yeah, I used sure. to work the desk too hard. And they used to say, Jason, don't work the desk. Stop work working me. <laughs> Stop working me. <laughs> work them. Oh, but really, they loved it. They, they knew did. that every time I was going up, I was working them, but they knew I was working hard. Yeah. Because they knew you were working a deal. You that's were working the mentality they want to have. They want right. somebody who can think that your, way. Your, your point, laughing, by the way, you, you've got, you got a, a close, a, the closing time is so quick. I mean, you're making that, the, you're, you're, you're shortening up that closing time. Yeah. I that's mean, why you need to start off with that. You need to start off with a relationship that is getting them to and laugh. Under. We've <laughs> always been. A, a team that's cracking everybody up, whether it's the, the showroom that we're on, the customer that's in front of us. I knew if I passed the deal to Fred, if I wasn't going to be there to work it, they were going to have a great time, still have some fun, still be laughing. And we were going to make just as much money with, if it was me working it. Vice versa. He's not there. I take a hold of the deal. They're going to have a great time, laugh, laugh, fun. And we'll all, always look over there, see each other laughing, cracking up with the customer, be like, boom, that's a deal. That's done. That's done and yep. have a great time. That's the yep. only way to do business. And then, Never lying, always laughing. And then another thing I would do is I do this. I get on the phone and I, and if they weren't buying, you know what I would say? I would say, you know what? I, I would say, hold on a minute. You're not buying today. Ho hold on one minute. And then I would call my wife, right? And I, and my wife already knew that I was going to call her. And wait, and I would say, hon, listen, don't don't go grocery shopping today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I love it. Don't do it. Um, I know you said you were going to go by. Don't. Uh, he's not sure. Ho hold on one minute. Um, Fred, you know when you think you might be, you know, maybe coming, are you coming? Do you have any idea when you – right now we were going to go grocery shopping tonight, but because you're not buying for today, it's, it's really messing my – you know, my wife is – you know, you hold on. My wife will have to talk to you. Listen to me. <laughs> I would do the stuff. I would go out of my way to make them laugh because they know it. Oh, dude. I, mean, I, I, I can't. Yeah. You would have sold the shit out oh of me. My God. I mean, oh, I would have bought oh, everything yeah. you sold me. I mean, you're definitely a salesman, and I, and I honor that, man. And, man, what a what what a great time tonight's been. I'm, yes. I'm glad that we've been we've been doing this for – this is probably the longest recording I've ever done, and it doesn't yeah. feel – it feels like one of the shortest ones. That's how much fun I've had tonight, Jason. Well, so. A lot of fun. There's a lot to talk about in the car business. Man, there, it really, is. there really is, man. There really is, and there's it's there's it's so much fun. There's sadness. There's happiness. It's it's a it's a it's a soap opera. It's a cartoon. You know, it's it's so much fun, and it's it's what you build it. And I'm I'm so I feel fortunate that I've been able to um to make connections with you, to be yeah. able to meet, meet you, and to be able to hear your side of the story and hear where you came from, man. Because it's yeah. it's it's a cool story. You're 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 definitely a very such a unique person, man. And yeah. 
it's been so much fun. So yeah, this has been great. I, I, I've enjoyed the car yeah. guy confession session, folks. This has been great. You got a double dose, double dose number two. You got two all up inside of that. Two up in that. You part. can deal with the good deals or the crappy deals, folks. But hey, <laughs> it's all good. It's all gonna come out good in the end. Jason, we appreciate you. We honor you. Yeah, sir. Thank you so much for being on the show. Car guys and car gals, stay tuned because the, the new connections are still happening. We are still making new things happen. We are forgive, focus, focus and, and flying, flying That's right. with more and more solutionaries as the days go by. So pay attention. Listen to what this man is telling you about the Nextcell app. You need it in the hands of every one Everybody of Everybody needs one of those. Just as much as they Get need it. to be sipping on some solutions, brewing solutions with the Car Guy Coffee Podcast, they need to get the Nextel app in their hands so that you can get the results that you need. And Jason is the man for you to talk to to get Boom. it. He's giving it away for free. Just mention the podcast, and he will make sure that you have a way to solve some more problems. That's right. So once again, Jason, we appreciate you. Yes, sir. We honor you. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Let me tell me you wear diapers from now on, probably. <laughs> hey, Jason, you got our number. We got yours. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna wear you out, man. I'm gonna have to send you those texts every once in a while. See how you doing? So keep in touch with us, man. And I'll talk to you soon. We're gonna get more up, get our team working with this next sale. So let's get it going, bro. That's right. We'll be right back, car guys and car gals.